OpenAI teased us about going back-to-back -back by first chat GPT 4.5 before dropping GPT-5 within a short period of time. What seems to be even more exciting about this sequence of releases is that GPT-6 promises to be the most advanced update released by OpenAI at this point in time. Let's take a look at exactly how grand this GPT-5 will be, how it will change the way we all make use of this new update, and perhaps most importantly, the problems we may face when it comes to using this exciting update, how it all came to be. In a bid to simplify things with their variety of AI models, it was announced that OpenAI had plans for an in-between model referred to as 4.5. This was due to the multitude of AI models that could be found on ChatGPT. This proved to complicate things for the user, and as such, Sam Altman was eager for a day without a model picker. With a hope to return to what he referred to as magic unified intelligence, we finally got our hands on GPT 4.5, codenamed Orion. This was interesting because the same codename was linked to the intriguing GPT 5. What's weird about this, though, is that it's believed that GPT 4.5 was the official last non-chain of thought model in the OpenAI library. As such, it seems to be the final stage of the old approach before the company makes their transition to the use of a different method of operations when it comes to GPT-5. This is fair enough because even though it is more advanced than GPT-4, it still has some shortcomings. For starters, it is incapable of carrying out the step-by-step -step reasoning that GPT-1 can. It also doesn't think before it responds. According to the OpenAI blog, it is considered to be more of a brute force intellect than a careful reasoner. As such, you can say it's fair that OpenAI does not consider GPT-4.5 to be a true frontier advance in the world of AI. Indeed, in the end, it proved to be just a stepping stone to GPT-5. In the end, though, Sam Altman has stated that the top goal for them at OpenAI is to unify the O-series models with the GPT-series models. As such, it may be fair to say that GPT-5 is the representation of the merging of these two brains into one. One of the ways this new system will take things to a different level is by making use of all our tools while also knowing how long to think in the face of any given task. As such, we can see how GPT-5 would be useful for a wide variety of tasks. Maybe this is because it will be making use of the most advanced reasoning module in its core. In a bid to carry out the merging of the O-series model with GPT models, OpenAI revealed that 03 will be part of GPT-5. Indeed, they have revealed that they will not release 03 as a separate model any longer. This is exciting stuff, especially as the rumors have it that GPT-5 could be released as soon as the spring or the summer. The issues. That said, we may have to sit tight for a bit, because there have been some challenges when it comes to this release. Already rumored to be falling behind schedule, things may be tense over at OpenAI, because the work with this new AI model has already gone over budget. To be honest, that must be easy as each training run for GPT-5 is said to cost as much as $500 million. As of today, they have already run two of these training runs. This would have been great, except they came across two issues. This was terrible. Especially as this meant that they had not achieved the breakthroughs that they were so desperately hoping for. This was probably due to the fact that they needed a massive data set, even more than the 13 trillion token of texts that were used to build GPT-4. As they seemed to have consumed all the data they could find out there, being able to gather all the data they need has proved to be a difficult task. They even tried another training run that was codenamed Arrakis in a bid to find a new architecture for GPT-5, but this too failed massively. As such, they realized that creating GPT-5 would be a lot more difficult than they ever imagined. In light of these issues, they did all they could to get more data for their training. They even tried to create fresh data. Sure, there were several hitches along the way, but right now, OpenAI is taking every step that they can to achieve GPT-5. With that in mind, such problems make it seem as though achieving AGI is going to take a bit longer than the three years some estimated. If we do ever achieve the completion of GPT-5, we'd find that it would be something more than a simple upgrade from GPT-4.5. Instead, it would be Magic Unified Intelligence, i.e. one that could be a model that could do everything. This would be such a leap from anything that we had ever had before, because as huge as GPT-4.5 is, GPT-5 is and will be even bigger and better. GPT-4.5 was no slouch though. It was OpenAI's biggest model. While it had deeper world knowledge and higher emotional IQ than previous versions of the AI model, GPT-4.5 also displayed the limits of brute force AI expansion. Even worse, it was beaten out by smaller models that were built for step-by-step -step thinking, 
solutions. To solve such issues, OpenAI hopes to make GPT-5 better than its predecessors by blending the best of both worlds. They figure they can do this by combining the massive base from the GPT-4 line with the focused step-by-step -step reasoning of the models from the O series. This process of step-by-step -step thinking is often known as chain of thought reasoning. It's almost like seeing the work done by the AI before it gets to its answers. What makes this interesting is that even though some of the models in the O series made use of this step-by-step -step reasoning, they did not have the massive knowledge that GPT-4.5 had. As such, we can see how exciting such a prospect as GPT-5 as OpenAI is, hoping to create a model that can reason directly while being as broad and as flexible as GPT-4.5. The Architecture One of the awesome things about GPT-5 is that it will automatically be able to pick between giving quick responses and showing detailed responses. It's probably able to do this because of its interesting and novel architecture. One of the ways they hope to achieve this is by making use of a combination of experts' architecture. This, in essence, means that they will be making use of a number of specialized mini-models within one huge AI model. This has the possibility of pushing the entire parameter account into the trillions. Multimodal integration. Looking to take things even deeper than other models, GPT-5 will be able to handle everything from texts and images to audio and video files. It can even handle all the different types of files in one seamless interaction. Add the fact that fully integrated voice and audio is guaranteed, and users will find that they just can't get enough of this amazing new AI model. Is GPT-5 AGI? Add the larger context window, the built-in operator and scheduling features, as well as the visual planning and collaboration feature it has with Canva to the mix, and you may find that this may be the AI tool of the future. The only thing that comes to mind now is if it will help us achieve AGI. Right now, as it doesn't have its own self-awareness, and as it is still fallible in that it will make its mistakes, GPT-5 is not AGI, but it might actually feel like AGI. Better than other models from the past, it will definitely feel like AGI to novices. Add the fact that this will help OpenAI's competitors know that they are still in the game. Hopefully, we will get GPT-5 in the next few months. Let's see how this amazing new model will change the world.